Today I'll be showing how to calibrate the drone correctly. The drone is E520S and we have some wind here and I'll be calibrating the drone going through all procedures and also show how to catch the GPS signal and we'll demonstrate how the GPS signal is helping to keep the drone in the air even in windy air. So let's turn on the drone first and I always keep my cheat sheet that comes with the drone I always forget which way to turn the drone so it says first of all do the gyroscope calibration which would be turning on the remote control and pushing the sticks in the east fast direction this way and you have it on the paper and you should see how the lights are blinking and then stop blinking so they're blinking and now they're not blinking so the gyroscope calibration is done the next step would be to complete the compass calibration and I always keep this paper with me it comes with the drone which will tell you which direction you need to rotate the drone in different position so first of all you need to push the button for compass calibration on the remote control which is this one so you push the button before that you will see that the lights are not blinking at the back and at the front once you push the button the button on the back starts blinking which means it's ready for campus calibration and this is done in this position rotating slowly in a counter-clockwise direction you see the beeping sound from the remote control and the lights are now not blinking which means that the first step is complete and then you put the drone in this position and start rotating in the clockwise direction and the front lights should stop blinking so as you can see there was a beep from the remote control and now none of the lights is blinking theoretically now if nothing is blinking from now on the GPS signal is should be also detected if the this if the GPS signal wasn't detected this lights would be blinking it, should, it is important for certain functions on the on this drone to work like return button and follow me function now let's see if it really works because you will feel if the drone is behaving correctly or not uh, if it's uh, stable in the air, it means that the GPS signal is on. Let's turn it on. As usually, we turn it on with this movement. And we can fly up this thing. Now we have wind and the drone should resist the wind and stay in the air at one point if the GPS is working correctly. So let's check this out. As you can see, I'm not doing anything with the drone, but the drone is keeping itself in one position. It's now inclined because the wind is blowing from that si from that side in this direction, and the drone is keeping itself in the air. So I don't have to do anything, and it's working actually. So I'm not moving the remote control. This is the beauty of a drone with GPS signal. And the wind is pretty strong with the previous version, with the smallest version, E58 drone. That would be difficult to achieve manually, and this one is working. If GPS wouldn't work, the drone wouldn't keep itself in the air. So I can walk around, do nothing, and the drone would keep itself stable in the air. Look at this beauty. 
I just can put it up into the air and it's working. The LED lights are not leaking so it works. It means that the GPS signal is there. It's uh, taking the GPS signal, no problem. Not doing anything, the drone keeps itself in the air. Beautiful. Let me bring it closer. In the next video I'll show you how the return button works. It's really nice function and it's amazing how this technology works.